Welcome to Life Kids Online, where your family can have church together with other families all over the world. I'm your host, Katie, and we hope that this leads you to worshiping God together and leads into great conversations with us and with each other. Now, if you're new to our church, we would love to get to know you. We have a super short form for you to let us know who you are and how we can partner with you better. Click on the link to get connected, and you can comment right now to tell us where you're joining us from. Go ahead, I'll wait. (laughs) We've got families joining us. We've had families from the other side of the planet, like India, but also ones here in our country, like Indiana. (laughs) I want you to be encouraged by seeing that there are other families connecting here together with you. Now, if you've got kids who are younger or older, we have lots of age-specific content that they can try out later. But right now, this worship service is for your whole family to have church together from anywhere. For the next few weeks, we're going to explore a really important topic, truth. You know, I think all of us are on a search for truth, even when we're not aware of it. And it seems like it's getting harder to tell if something is true or not. So for about the next half hour, we'll be talking about how we can know what's true and what kinds of things get truth all tangled up. And if you're joining us now, say hello and let us know like where you're located. It can be tough to get the whole family in the same room doing something together. So kids, give your parents a high five if they manage to get you here right now. So we love to have some really crazy challenges on The Loop Show that sometimes get really messy. But let's get things started with a challenge for you. That's right, get ready for today's family challenge. It won't get as messy as the one on the show, but you will have to get up and move around to play. Okay, one reason that truth can get so tangled is we pick sides and then we don't wanna hear anything that disagrees with what we think is true. I bet this happens in your family. (laughs) Look at these two pictures next to me. I've got a dog right here and I have a cat over here. I don't know how many families don't actually have a dog or a cat, but I still want you to pick sides and choose which one you like best. Now, if you think cats are better, get up and come and stand over to this side. And if you think dogs are best, then come over to this side. I'm gonna go over here to the dog side because I I know for a fact that dogs are best. Okay, so now that you've picked a side, you done it? I'm gonna give you 20 seconds to try to convince the other people in your family to come and join your side all at once, okay? It might get loud, but okay, are you ready? Okay, go. Are you doing it? (laughs) Are you convincing each other? Dogs, cats, which one's better? I mean, I like my dog. Okay, did you switch sides? Yeah, that's actually my dog. Okay, let's do another one. Let's try holidays. We just had Christmas, right? And Easter is coming up soon. So which holiday is better? Is it Easter or Christmas? Got a cross over here for Easter and a baby Jesus over here for Christmas. Okay, so now move over to the one that you think is best, okay? And then I will give you 20 seconds to explain why you think the holiday that you picked is better. Go. Are you doing it? Okay, Christmas, Easter, man, that's hard. I mean, we just had Christmas. Baby Jesus came to earth. Oh, Easter. I mean, Easter, it's the resurrection. Christ rising from the dead. I mean, okay, hmm. I'm gonna have to think on that one. Did everyone in your family happen to pick the same one? And if you did, you can tell us in the chat. Okay, I've got one more for you. Which is better, morning time? or nighttime. Okay, quick, pick your sides. Morning time, nighttime. Have you picked? Okay, here we go. 20 seconds this time to try to convince someone in the other side of your family to join your side. All right, you ready? Go. Are you team early bird or team night owl? (laughs) Early riser, do you get up early? Have your coffee in the morning? Or do you like to stay up late, watch movies, get some work done? Man, that's hard. I'm, I don't know if I'm either. I like to sleep in and I like to go to bed early. I I like sleep. (laughs) Okay, have you gotten anyone to switch sides? Man, are people talking all at once? Okay, that was fun. Now you know this challenge shows us how easy it is to let our opinions or what we like best to get in the middle of what we decide is truth. And just like in our game, these differences can become arguments and can make us not really listen to each other anymore. 
Well, here's something that we can all come together for. Let's sing some songs to God. I know that we can do that by ourselves at any time, but God tells us that He loves it when His whole family worships together. Again, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed Him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give to you, He said, if you will bow down and worship Me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Jesus says to Satan, Worship God only. See, we all worship something. We all give our attention and our focus to something. Maybe it's material things or, or people, but we're supposed to worship God only. Are you distracted by something right now? Maybe there's uh, something that you're thinking about that isn't God or His goodness. Instead of those things, let's focus on Him right now. Let's worship God only right now.
songs together or even dancing around may feel normal for your family or it might have felt a little awkward. We can all worship God together in our own way, but it's also great to just try something new to show God that we love Him the most, like lifting up your hands or kneeling or singing really loud. And type in the chat if your family really got into it today. All right, so now let's go to this week's Loop Show episode in a world that often trades genuine for fake or the real deal for the plastic copy, how can we untangle what is true and what is false? We're all tangled up. Hang on for the, wait, hang on. What? Ellie, what are you doing here? I'm guest hosting this month. Wait, where's Jamie? She's taking some time off. I didn't know we could do that. We're all tangled up. Hang on for the loop. Three, two, one. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Ellie, and let's get right down to it. Truth, what is it? Where is it? How is it? Why is it? Sometimes, when is it? Truth, Ellie, what does that make you think of? It makes me think of telling the truth, doing and saying the right things. Yeah, it makes me think of the opposite of false, so something that you can trust, truest. Do you trust me to tell you the truth? I, I mean, I'm sure I, I could. You know, we did just meet, so. Yeah, well, I have a challenge to see how much we actually trust each other. Oh, great. Yeah. Each of us will have a yuck or yum card in front of us. And on one card is a picture of something yummy. On the other card is the yucky version of that yummy treat. Now with each round, one of us gets vision and the other gets a decision. The person with vision gets to sneak a peek at their card. And then the person with decision gets to choose to stick with the card they have or trade. We'll reveal what we've got and take a bite. I feel like this would be really helpful to know whether or not you're bluffing or not. Ready to play? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. Pop quiz, truth seekers! Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey, since we're talking about looking for the truth, why don't we do some true or false? You know, just a speed round of true or false. Here we go. True or false, the moon has its own time zone. That's true, it's called lunar time. True or false, cheese is good for horses. That's false, and it also probably explains why your horse has wicked diarrhea. True or false, the original name for donuts was oily cakes. Oily cakes? That's true, the Dutch word for donut was olikoeks, or something like that. I, I'm not Dutch, I don't know how to pronounce it. What is true and what is false? Every single person that you know is on a search for truth. You, me, that guy who keeps asking, Alexa, how old is Tom Cruise? I, is he in his 50s, 60s, 70s? I gotta know. Let's start with the basics, okay? The biblical translation of the word truth is corresponding to reality. So if you want the whole truth and nothing but the truth, God's reality is the truth. As followers of Jesus, we believe that God's word is reliable. We believe that Jesus was and is real and that his claims are valid. This truth invites you into a lifetime of curiosity. You search for the truth, you find God's reality, and then you take that and you make that your unshakable bedrock truth. That's your belief. Don't settle for false. You don't need false. True or false, I'm the quiz man. That's true, goodbye. Hey, my Loop friends, Josh here. It's always exciting to get to hang out with you guys. So it's January, December is behind us, Christmas is behind us. So taking down Christmas lights, you can see that I've got these tangled up Christmas lights here. Check out what I do while I was taking my Christmas lights down. Y'all, I broke my Christmas lights. It made me start thinking though about like when stuff starts getting tangled, right? Like my Christmas lights are a mess. I took them down in a hurry. Why did I do that? I just did not deal with it now. But maybe start thinking about what happens when stuff starts getting tangled. Well, when it gets tangled, it starts to actually lose its shape, right? Like my Christmas lights lost shape because they're never gonna work again because I broke them. Okay, but it, then it made me think about the truth. What happens when the truth gets tangled? And how do we sometimes, maybe even accidentally, tangle the truth? There's a few things that we could do. One is that we could prioritize our own feelings or our own opinions over the truth. We could say, well, I know that that's, what the Bible says, or I know that that's the truth, but I kind of feel this other way. Like I have an opinion about that and I feel like my opinion should bear more weight. Or maybe sometimes we actually even add to the truth and we do it as a little bit of a power grab. We take the truth and we go, okay, that's part of it. And then we add our own like little bit of flair to it. When in reality, we know that Jesus plus nothing is truth. 
that the Word of God is the truth and we don't need to be adding stuff to it, but sometimes we do that to get what we want. And another possible way is that we use this watered down version of the truth to make life a little bit easier on us, right? To make things work out. So maybe we feel like, well, there's this one way of living that I know is sin, that I know a decision I shouldn't be making, but I want to make that decision so badly. Well, here's my challenge for you. As you begin to notice the truth getting tangled, I want to challenge you to become more and more like Christ. Ready to play? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready. Okay. Wow, giving me nothing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this card. I think I'm gonna keep it. Mm. Excellent. What do you have? Toothpaste and mayo ice cream with Oreos. So, that's one of my favorite combos. I have cookies and cream ice cream. Great. So I read your reaction wrong. Oh my. You ready? Take yeah. A... One. Oh my gosh. Two, three. If you could rank it on a scale of one to 10. Negative 10. Negative 10, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and move on to round two. Believe you get the vision. Yes, I get to look this time. Okay. And then based on my reaction, yeah. you get to decide. Okay. Okay? Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That was nothing. I. I, I I couldn't gather much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from that. So I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna switch. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Ah! No! And the Oscar goes to no! me. What are you eating, Ricky? No! Of all the things to ruin. <laughs> oh, I get a bad slice of pizza. It's, I get a regular slice of pizza. It's strawberry, jam, raisins, cinnamon gummy bears, oh, love beets, and Vienna sausage. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm really excited about this. I love pepperoni, actually. Oh, this is going to give me trust issues with pizza from here on until the end of time. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Three, two, one. Mmm. So good. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. It's, it's like hot and spicy. Oh, oh, got this. This is good. Oh, this, this is the worst. Pe this, why? I like this. I didn't, pizza. I like this game now. I would say this is unmeasurably bad. Oh, wow. There okay. is, there's not a number that yeah. is known. <sighs> I'll take another bite, too. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm getting pepperoni, hmm. cheese. That's what I was looking for. Crust. Miserable. You do have to share, and I will prove it to you. Ugh. <clears throat> hey, Google, don't I have to share? Sorry, I don't understand. Doesn't the Bible say I have to share? Sorry, I did not. What are you searching for? <laughs> Hi, Levels. Hi, I'm the internet, but you can call me Web. Oh, you just said that. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. So what are you searching for? Oh, so my best friend Chelsea just won a ton of free Reese's Pieces, and she won't share with me. Ooh. So I'm trying to prove to her that she's wrong. And to do that, I need evidence. I need truth. Hey, Google, how do I find truth? Sorry, I didn't understand. Ugh, you're useless in this. Hey, whoa, 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 no need to be rude. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Maybe Google isn't the right place to ask for this kind of truth. Oh, Google's no good for you, huh? Can't ask Alexa? Well, who would you normally ask? Well, normally I would ask Chelsea, but I guess when I'm searching for truth, I would talk to a godly friend or call my mom Ooh. or call my pastor, Pastor Bob. Oh, hey Google, call Pastor Bob. Or, <laughs> or I could talk to the Holy Spirit about it. Make sure I take time to listen, hear what he has to say back. Yeah, I guess that would be a better resource than Siri. Or, or there's a ton of good theology books, especially on truth. I could read something by C.S. Lewis. Oh, Clyde Staples Lewis, prolific author of uh, beloved children's books like the Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, but he didn't just write Chronicles of Narnia, like, like mere Christianity. Or, obviously, 
The Bible is the best source of truth. Wow, pretty embarrassing that you thought about that last, huh? Well, the Bible can be a little intimidating. I think when you're trying to find ways to live your life, the best place to start is to read about how Jesus lived his life. Ooh, Jesus of Nazareth, son of God and historical founder of Christianity. Biography of his life available in the books Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the Bible. Uh, how did he live his life? Well, you know, he lived selflessly. He, he was kind. He thought about the needs of others way before he thought about himself. Wow, sounds pretty unbratty. You know, thinking about this, like wrestling with truth, it makes me think about my friend Lucy. She's, she's asking a lot of really big questions and searching for some big truths right now. And I know it could seem like sometimes these questions lead us away from God, but I think it's, it's in the questions, in the untangling the truth and involving God in the process, where we grow. Mm. Okay, so untangling this truth logically, you want to live more like Jesus, who lived uh, a very loving and unselfish life, who uh, probably thought about sharing with others more than he thought about how people shared with him. I huh? get it. I get mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I think the truth in this whole candy situation is that I'm being a big old brat, and huh. I should probably go apologize. Oh, good. Well, you go apologize. I'm going to sign off. Logging off. Round three. Round three. Ricky, uh, I think I? you were reading the card this time. Yeah, you get vision. Okay. Wow, you're re you're really looking long and hard at that one. There's just a lot of words on here. Okay. I think I'm also going to take a risk this time, and I'm going to switch it up. Okay. Yep. Wow. Oh, the first sentence is slice of meat cake. Well, that's great. Wow. Oh, you got literal cake. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have switched. I shouldn't have taken a risk. Oh, man, this is great. Okay, here we go. Man, you know, it's super sweet. Oh, man. I was close. I thought I had it. Was I did it? not have it. It was like all of the things together. Mm -hmm. The man has just really wrapped it all up, and that's, Ugh. I think, what got me in the end. There's just so many layers. Oh, So no. much to discover. Oh, no. Yeah, so much to discover. Oh. It's not great, but it's not as bad as the other one. Oh, man. Yeah. How's your cake? Your real cake. The cake is just delightful. Yeah. I think my favorite part is that there are no pickles on or around it. Ready for round four? Yeah, the final round. Final round. I think I have vision this time. All okay, right. Here we go. Mm. I am going to stick with mine. Okay. I got gummy chicken feet. I love candy. Candy's my favorite. That looks like uh, that looks like real chicken feet. It's worse. They actually look like grandma fingers. It's worse than chicken feet. What is it? It's pickled chicken feet. Oh. Wow, can you describe what you're feeling right now? That's ah, a lot of like emotion that just came out. Existential dread. Okay, that looks like small fingers, actually. Like they small are. Hands. They're small fingers of chickens. Yeah. That's like a that's a good bounce. They've got a good vertical. I don't even know. What that looks part horrifying. To chew on. Does it have fingernails? It. It does have fingernails. I thought I saw those from over here. Oh. All right, here we go. I'm tasting what pain feels like. Mine tastes like happiness in a gummy. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's really good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with something else. <laughs> okay, following the street. I'm so nervous what's gonna be at the end of this. <laughs> God created you for a reason. One of the reasons I think God created me was to just be a servant for his people. Um, knowing that he created me for a reason and he was purposeful in that helps me get through the rough times, but also helps me celebrate the good times. Sometimes I feel like God forgets about me. And then God has this incredible way of 
wrapping his arms around me. You are not who others say you are. You are who Christ says you are. Even when things are hard, I know Christ sees me differently than I do in that situation. The Lord is your shepherd. You lack nothing. I love this because it's such a good reminder that God supplies everything we need. And honestly, I needed this reminder today. Fear is not in control. God is in control. I don't have to listen to fear, but I can listen to what God says. No matter what I do, it's not in my power. It's in God's. There's nothing you can do to get outside God's love for you. I'm a mess sometimes, and I sometimes hurt people, and I get things wrong. You know, everybody has a past. I have a past, and what matters is who I am today, and I'm with Christ. There is nothing too big for God's power or too small for God's heart. It's just a powerful thing to know that the creator of the universe sees me and knows me. This is something that I actually have struggled with a lot recently. Um, just such a powerful reminder for me. God will never leave you. When I was in middle school, I didn't really know what it meant to actually follow Jesus. Um, but even throughout all of that, God was with me and He was writing my story. And eventually when I came to realize my need for Him and my need for His grace as a, as a sinner, um, He started showing up in massive ways. Be immature like children We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of some new teaching We will not be influenced People try to trick us Lies so clever they sound like the truth I think my mouth is ruined forever. Yeah. I learned that I really like birthday cake mm -hmm. way more than I like ruined pizzas. I think this fake ice cream is one of the grossest things I've ever tasted. Everyone is on search for truth. When you find the truth is tangled, ask God to help you untangle it. And as you seek truth, grow in every way more and more like Christ. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. All right, you want to take one more bite of, of, of false food? Sure. Delicious. Yummy. So in today's lesson, we're talking about truth. What is truth and how do we pick it out of all the opinions and the noise around us? It's always a good idea to go back to the Word of God, to look at what Jesus said and take our truth from that. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for the Bible. Thank you that in the noise around us, we can rely on your truth. God, I pray that in every decision we make, we would always go back to find out what you have to say about it before we make a choice. As we continue praying, consider this for a moment. What if the truth you've been looking for your entire life has been here the entire time? You know, Jesus, he says, I am the way, 
the truth and the life. And the truth is we're all sinners. We all fall short. And the good news is that our God, He already knows that. And still Jesus chose to come and die on the cross for our sins, for your sins. And now there's absolutely nothing to keep us away from Him. All you have to do is admit the truth that you are a sinner, that you need forgiveness, and that you have an opportunity to invite Jesus to be the leader of your life. And if you wanna do that today, go ahead and raise your hand up in the air. And his hands are going up all around the world. Let's pray together, repeat after me. Father God, thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. Forgive me. Come into my life. Be the leader of my life. Amen. If you've made that decision today, this is literally the biggest moment of your life. And we are so excited to be here with you in it. But make sure you also take a moment to talk to a parent or a trusted adult and let them pray for you too. The conversation doesn't stop here. This is just the beginning. And don't forget that no matter how much noise is all around us, we can always go back to the Word of God to know what is true. And remember, we're praying for you. If you made the decision to follow Jesus with your whole life, your family wants to know, but we'd like to know too. So make sure to connect with us with a comment or by clicking on the link. It's great to watch a message together, but it really helps it move from just learning to real life change when we take time to talk it over. We've got some questions to get us started, and we asked some life kids what answers they had. Okay, first question. What does the word truth make you think of? Jaden, age 10, said, it makes me think that God told the truth when he talks to us. Here's another one. What's something that you used to think was true, but now you learned it isn't? Ethan, age 10, answered, I used to think if you jumped on a trampoline, you could go all the way up into the sky. Those kids had some good thoughts, but now it's your turn. We'll put the questions up so your family can talk about them and share in the chat what your family is saying about what the truth is. And remember, click the link to let us know that you're new today. And let's meet back here next week at Life Kids Online. Hey families, I just wanna let you know that we have two YouVersion Bible apps for you and your family. There's the Bible app for kids, for your littles, and the Bible app for the rest of the family. If you have an older kid with their own device, it's time for them to have their very own Bible app account. Parents, you get to share prayers with your family and even complete daily Bible plans together to track your progress and leave comments and questions for each other to talk about. In 3 John chapter 1, it says, there's nothing better than to see your kids walking in the truth. And this is a fantastic way to do that very thing. 